Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down a multi-day severe weather event that'll be impacting the United States, bringing the risk for significant damaging winds, large to very large hail, and a few tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the Great Plains, and this is a region that we We've been watching a lot of shower and storm activity already today and more of that is to come this afternoon you'll notice from southern canada back through the southeast united states that's where we have a lot of rain ongoing we have a heat dome that's sitting back down the southern plains right now that's kind of allowing for the shower and storm activity to remain a bit more stationary which is basically producing a bit more of a flooding threat in some areas and that's what we've seen over the past couple days in missouri and now as we go throughout the day today we'll be watching for our next severe weather event which is later this afternoon a Across parts of the central plains that could bring the risk of all modes of severe weather and we'll be talking about more on that in just a moment so something definitely to watch for out of what we're seeing with this current weather pattern setup that we have further to the north and east we have a low pressure system sitting back up in canada and this has been bringing some showers and storms to parts of the northeast in addition to this a couple mornings ago we saw low temperatures as low as the mid 30s in upstate new york so it's actually been kind of chilly up there to be honest with you it is a bit warmer now obviously a lot more areas into the 70s now for high temperatures still a little bit on the chilly side for this time of the year but overall that low pressure system is allowing for some cooler weather out of Canada because of some northerly winds that are drifting some cooler weather out of the north down to the south so definitely something to kind of watch for there if you're back up in the northeast a bit chilly there and then the southwest United States unfortunately no relief in sight it is back to warm weather as the heat dome does begin to shift back to the west we'll begin to see more heat start to translate into parts of the southwest United States making that relentless heat never ending basically in those areas as phoenix arizona has been extremely hot this summer now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next several days and we're going to begin with today which today to be honest with you is quite an interesting setup because we have an interesting risk of severe weather in the central plains now as of right now you're going to see there's a lot of slight risks of severe weather we have one back up in the northeast and that's for some isolated damaging winds isolated large hail as well maybe a brief tornado in eastern new york but overall the threat of that is fairly low today back in the central plains we have two different areas one that's back over nebraska and northwest kansas and this is going to be primarily for the threat of damaging winds with maybe a little bit of isolated large hail. But notice the slight risk back over in Missouri. This is actually where we'll be watching for an increased tornado risk today. And this is all due to the fact that we might see an MCV start to develop, which is a mesoscale convective vortex. Those can sometimes help to rotate. They're kind of like a weak, it's basically like a low pressure system that's very small scale. Helps to increase the rotation a bit with supercells. So that's what we'll be watching for today back over in Missouri out of a very isolated storm or two. Here's the risk so in terms of the tornadoes for today, again, it's really small area, but it's going to include parts of Missouri, primarily east of Kansas City and west of St. Louis. This is where we'll be watching for an isolated tornado or two. And there is a chance that I do go live for this, so make sure you're subscribed down below and click the bell icon so you're notified if and when I go live. But overall, it's a very interesting setup for today because, again, it's a very small area. It's because of this MCV. So as we go throughout the afternoon, again, storm's not really going to fire up probably until about 4 o'clock this afternoon central time. That'll be near Kansas City, and watch this area close. Closely. That is where we'll be watching for the threat of a supercell or two to develop. And those that develop will produce a greater threat for damaging winds and large hail initially, and as well as maybe an isolated tornado. By 5 o'clock, that storm activity will basically move to the east right along the interstate between Kansas City and Columbia. And we'll be watching for really a couple storms. There will not be a whole lot of storms here. It's going to, again, be a fairly isolated risk overall. It's just the fact that it could become a bit more significant if we end up seeing one of those significant supercells. Eventually going closer to 7 to 8 o'clock tonight, it moves off to the east. East. Daylight heating ends around 8 to 9 o'clock, so overall these storms will only last with the intensity probably through Columbia in Missouri, and then it'll start to weaken as it gets closer to St. Louis. But this is what it looks like getting closer to 10 o'clock. Again, the storms will get close to St. Louis. There will likely be at least some storm activity there, but overall the severe weather potential there is going to be on the lower side. It would primarily just be damaging winds up to about 65 miles per hour. And then overnight tonight, there's going to be another chance for isolated flash flooding near the St. Louis area, so be monitoring that, but overall the threat of that is on the lower side. 
for the entire central plains storms will fire up as well back over nebraska again these will primarily be damaging winds there might be a little bit of large hail as well they'll move off to the east this is around six o'clock eventually getting close to about eight nine ten o'clock tonight it all weakens out for, for the most part again daylight heating really will dominate today that's when we're going to be seeing the severe weather and after daylight heating is done we will not be really seeing a whole lot of extra severe weather after that now tomorrow's severe weather potential is a bit interesting because it's a very large area as of right now it does include parts of the central plains and even parts of the midwest and even a little bit of the ohio valley current concern right now will be damaging winds especially across that hatched area that's representing the damaging wind threat being a little bit more increased and as well as the threat for damaging winds as high as 80 miles per hour that's closer to southwest kansas large hail threat is fair, pretty much in the same area tornado risk right now is on the very low side of things it's really not that concerning as of right now for tomorrow but there will be a chance for an isolated tornado and again i might go live for this as well so make sure you're subscribed down below we'll keep you posted with the latest details there tornado risk going into sunday looks a bit more concerning so keep that in mind for those back over in the midwest now in terms of the timing tomorrow we'll be watching for storms to develop back down in southwest and west kansas these ones initially will be primarily producing damaging winds and large hail i'm not really foreseeing much of a tornado risk out of this there might be an isolated tornado though back up in western iowa the threat again is overall still low once we get closer to the evening hours so around eight nine o'clock storms continue across parts of iowa and as well as back through the central and even parts of the southern plains and eventually getting close to around 10 11 o'clock these storms move to the east not very organized but if these are at any point organized they will be producing mainly a damaging wind threat and then going into sunday morning most of the storm activity will begin to weaken out which will lead to our next threat of severe weather which is on sunday as of right now there is a slight risk of severe weather across parts of the midwest and the ohio valley and i'll be honest with you i will not be surprised if there's an enhanced risk of severe weather for this event there's definitely a chance that this does become a severe weather outbreak as all modes of severe weather will be possible including damaging winds large hail and even a few tornadoes and one of the biggest things about this event will be the low level jet that's what helps to rotate supercells in the lower levels and as of right now as we go throughout saturday you'll notice this is your low pressure system that's basically a more surface based low pressure system that is bringing the risk of severe weather to parts of the central plains tomorrow and then going into sunday this will move to the east toward the midwest which could end up bringing the risk for a pretty significant severe weather event but one of the most crucial things i would say to this entire event is where one the low-level jet is centered because as of right now the low-level jet on the eastern side and southeast side of this low pressure system does remain a little bit weaker than what was forecasted as of yesterday at least by the european model so this is one of the biggest things i'll have to watch for because the stronger it is the higher the tornado risk will naturally be and as of right now the tornado risk i would say is on the low to medium side of things so somewhere around a five percent risk is what i'm expecting right now but it obviously could very well increase it could also decrease it just depends on what happens here over the next 24 hours especially with the event that we're going to see over in the central plains everything kind of rides on that with this sort of event now going into sunday this is the current estimated timing as we go closer to lunchtime on sunday we'll be watching for that low pressure system centered back up in minnesota some storms will fire up on the eastern and southeast side of this low pressure system that is where the greatest risk of severe weather will be i'm expecting right now the main concern out of this to be damaging winds maybe some isolated large hail and again a few tornadoes being possible just depends on how this evolves eventually by the evening hours around six seven o'clock these storms will be moving toward areas like indiana and eastern illinois and eventually going toward ohio going closer to around 9 12 o'clock in the evening and eventually going to the overnight hours most of that storm activity will start to weaken out with maybe an isolated tornado risk going into the overnight hours but again the threat of that is low at this time and going into monday there is currently a slight risk of severe weather in the northeast united states and we will talk about more on this in our next forecast thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.